right then. Um, so I wanted to just quickly cover progressive web apps um, and how Google's core web vitals update can potentially benefit those early adopters of PWA technology. Um, so I guess firstly, what, what are PWAs? Um, and I've certainly found over the last six months or so, you know, when I've had various conversations with merchants, they don't really understand what they are. Um, and when they do, they aren't really aware of the technical or business benefits um, that a PWA can bring. So yeah, I hope they can clear that up a little bit right now. Um, and I guess to put it simply, PWAs are hybrids of regular websites and mobile apps. So they are device and operating system agnostic, can run offline, um, they can send push notifications and scan barcodes, they can deliver localized content, and they can also provide analytics data that doesn't rely on cookies. And yeah, I mean, the overall market awareness of PWAs uh, has definitely increased a lot in the last year, with businesses starting to evaluate them as a viable solution, um, certainly when they're experiencing slow page speeds or poor mobile UX problems. So what we're finding, you know, certainly true with, with uh, a number of our clients at the moment, um, that thanks to that PWA technology, um, it is obviously able to provide a really good web performance, vast loading, reliable and engaging user experience. Um, and as Nikki and Camilla have already covered, that's obviously going to look pretty, pretty good in, in the eyes of Google. So, yeah, as I said, we've got, you know, we're finding that a lot of retailers haven't adopted that, you know, in this new technology yet. Um, you know, so it does kind of represent quite a rare and exciting opportunity to get ahead of the competition. So whether you are looking to go through a replatforming journey um, or choosing to go down the route of using a full PWA solution, um, you know, you can, you can start small, you can start big. You know, starting small would be perhaps sending push notifications, um, but really you should start now considering a PWA strategy um, and that goes for any type of business, whether you're, whether you're big or small. I think ultimately you're not, not only are you um, future-proofing your business, but you're also bringing about a level of service and, and interaction that consumers you know, demand really now. Um, and there's a couple of, things to, couple of things to look at here. So if you're a developer, um, Adobe, which is a platform, so Adobe Commerce, which is the platform that we, we, uh, we recommend and we work with here at Push On, they've got um, a product called PWA Studio. So it's a set of tools developed that help create and deploy PWAs using the Adobe Commerce platform. So they've got a sample site that you can try out um, and that contains all PWA functionality um, and any, you know, any developments that they've also created as part of that. So it's a really good place to learn uh, about what PWAs can do. And as a, as a business owner or a marketeer, we generally, you know, first off, like to, to point people towards um, websites such as pdstats.com. So they highlight some of the businesses using this technology uh, and the success they've had from it. So from a UK perspective, over the last few years, we've had the likes of George Debenhams and Hobbygraft, who have all launched PWAs in, in recent times. So, you know, some fairly high profile names there. And we've, we're, you know, we're seeing <clears throat> certainly, certainly from the beginning of this year, a lot of the conversations we're having with, with merchants, um, you know, PWA is a, uh, a discussion point. Um, and like I said, it doesn't matter if you're necessarily, you know, if you think you're too small, quite often you're, you're not, and you can, if not go, you know, the whole way with PWA, you can still start introducing things that will make a difference.